Oh, it's rather busy over here. I've just been told by Christopher Signal Station, which manages all the traffic around here, that we can go through the breakwater and proceed onto Shelter Bay Marina. But, uh, it's going to be interesting there's a lot of activity just passing through that backwater right now. That's it. We are behind the breakwater, heading for Shelter Bay Marina. It's about 50 metres down. Yeah. is where everyone was getting ready to cross the Atlantic and everyone was just tidying up little things like rigging, like just fiberglass work, electronics, etc. And here, not surprisingly, everyone's getting ready for the Pacific jump. It's uh, feeling very much the same way with people doing, you know, last minute jobs before they hit, you know, the big blue of the Pacific. I thought we'd have a little barbecue gathering this afternoon, so I invited some of our close friends. Then as it happens, Josh from Rogue invited a few other boats, including Nelly and the girls, and also uh, Mike the Rigger. A uh, few others invited others, so yeah, it's going to be quite an affair by the sound of it. Uh, Larrikin, uh, Bill and Barbs, uh, so they're going to bring the uh, music, so, so that's going to be a good night. jobs on the boat and hang out with the kids but the last thing I want to do is to go up the mast. I'm going to check the swages, the bits where the shrouds join the ends and check the end of the spreaders and then check right at the very top where various bits join the mast and there's also our instruments, the wind vane and other uh, things up there. So it's just a routine rig check.
Okay, here's my view near the top. It's a bit windy. All good, coming down. We're increasing our the steering cable chain because I'm hearing a slight click or creak in when we're turning at a particular point. So we are regreasing it. We've already checked the steering cable to see if there's any rust or any broken cables. It's all good. We I was going to go and put some Corrosion X. Corrosion X. Again. To stop any salt water being onto it. But it is looking quite good. That all looks good. Good news. All good. Except when I was coming down, Bill noticed that the back stay, the lower cable, is a bit rusty. So I'm going to use my best friend Corrosion X. I don't get any money for these, from these guys, just it's very useful. I think Boat Shield is a similar thing, so I don't care what brand you use, but that is going to go. On. We'll do that tomorrow. I can't do it now. I'm knackered and very sore from yoga at 8 a.m. and then all the other stuff today. We're off to a barbecue. It happens every Sunday and it's about our fifth or sixth social do here at the marina in a week. It's such a great community here. Lots of the folks who we met at the swimming pool in Kuniyala, Sunblas, are now here preparing their boats to do, yeah, put them up on the hard for the summer and to go off to the States and Canada again. And also some newcomers like the Kiwis who were playing last night um, and yeah lots of other friends it's more fun <laughs> Turn out coffee, call the people by this. Everybody, one more time, do a train. What we need is a great big mountain pot. Fear enough to take the world, and now let's got you. Keep it living for a hundred years or more. Turn out coffee, call the people by this. Yes, that's Stan and Sally Honey. Some of the world's best sailors. Stan was a navigator for ABN AMRO when they won the Volvo Ocean Race in 2006 and the navigator for Comanche when they beat the Monohull transatlantic record in 2016. Sally, a dinghy racer, is a two-time US Yachtswoman of the Year. They're sailing the Cal 40 Yacht Illusion, but two yachts down from Tranquilo. myself today. Phil and I have been working pretty hard on Tranquilo and I'm keen to see what's around instead of just hanging around in the marina. You know I hate hanging around in marinas. So I'm here with Jill Tracy, uh, two English women and Barb, awesome musician who you saw last night from New Zealand. We are here at the fort San Lorenzo and very very briefly this place was built by the Spanish to guard the river, the river mouth and the sea around here. This is a big trade area, the, the gold from South America came past here and this castle area was sacked, was, was uh, mostly destroyed three times so it was rebuilt each time. 
And interesting, the, the first one was by the pirate Sir Francis Drake, except they leave off the Sir, of course. Their version. Yeah. It's really weird because at home, uh, Francis Drake was sort of sent on his expeditions by the um, by Queen Mary, Queen Elizabeth I, and over here he's uh, a pirate to everybody. <laughs> pirate versus hero, it depends which side you're on. Yes, exactly, it's weird. And we're going to do the 10 kilometre trip back by foot. We're going to get a bit of exercise and a bit more chance to chat. Oh yes, definitely a guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, third one. Oh look, it's got a baby it's got on. Oh. Is it a baby? Yes. yes. So we are in the secure zone of Cologne. Apparently, the rest of Cologne is a bit Not rough nice. right now. Yeah, gangs roaming the streets and all that. Now I'm thinking it's maybe a bit of an exaggeration, but some people are taking it seriously. So we've got this area here that's one of the few safe areas apparently, and we're just going to get through and do some shopping. Once we find out why Cologne is so damn dangerous, we'll come back to you. Here's an honest look at Tranquilo. This is pretty typical for what she looks like for a long passage. It's chaos. So the three of us spent the day at the shopping centre. We've got water galore because, as you know, we don't have a water maker. Um, oh, we also picked up something exciting as a fishing rod, which we've never had before, so hoping to catch some things finally. And then all the other stuff that we have to attend to. So this is the bag we need to fold up, deflate and fold up the tender. So that goes in there. This is our lovely flexible solar panel that we're going to put up there with the with the Kent glue that's ready to go. Some random rice. Um, so here we are downstairs going to find space for everything here which is about seven boxes worth and then when Dean and Evan our crew arrive there's going to be even more because we don't know what they like so it's going to mean we're going for another provisioning trip again and then here Aiden's been playing with the guys from Rogue the boys and we're going through his distance ed stuff so there's always that on top of the normal chaos um, unfortunately the vacuum packer is not working I'm going to probably give that away I'm not sure but there is a big community of people who get together on the radio every morning at 7.30 and offer things or sell things so finally that will go we're getting rid of all the cardboard boxes from things like there's the cornflakes boxes because uh, corn, uh, what do you call them I'm so tired after shopping the cockroaches <laughs> cockroaches cornflakes um, cockroaches nest in cardboard so people say get rid of as much cardboard as possible and because the bus goes at 7.45 in the morning we didn't quite get to the wash up but yeah when we leave you will see the sleek beautiful tranquilo that you normally see but at the moment it feels like a fair way off the key message is there is a lot of stuff that goes on before we leave for a passage 
and yeah it's just chaos for a little bit and then we leave the marina and whatever you've done up to that point that's it done you're on your own and it's back to the beautiful simplicity of sailing on the sea that is the key message well today's the day we're putting our solar panel on we've got greg the local magician to help us out with the wiring we need to put it through from the coach roof down to our batteries via the MPPT which is the controller that manages any surges and etc so uh, yeah we're making progress it took us a while to figure out what the best way to do it is but actually now we're starting to drill holes through the hull as I said to L we're drilling through the top we're not drilling through the bottom so at least got no chance of sinking so the control panels mostly wired up we've got it going through the deck around the back through to um, now setting up the MPPT and then through to the batteries. Well, I've just plugged in the fuse for the batteries and green light, so that's a good start. Now, time to take off the shade off the panel and see if that's working. Right, shade's coming off. Go, you good thing. Let's have a look. What's happening? Right. Woohoo, we have power. Woohoo! Even this late in the day, we're still getting 6.5 amperes. That's fantastic. Brilliant. I'm um, taking the heat gun back, and earlier we borrowed some drill bits from the boat next door from Jen, so I've already taken those back. to our last bit of attaching the solar panel with Sikaflex and nice tip from Greg who helped out with the electrics. Phil has laid down the tape around the edge which does two things. It shows you where you're going to put it down with the Sikaflex on and it stops the ooze getting onto the teeth. So any extra Sikaflex around the edge is just going to go onto that tape and rip up the tape and we have a clean job done. Nice work, Hayden. I'm cleaning the tender. Why? Because it's very dirty. And we've got to pack it away, don't we? It's got lots of algae or something. Yeah. Well. Yeah, you, you go. Okay. So, I'm Jill. I'm Tracy. And we've been sailing on Marandina. Uh, I've been sailing for Bermuda for about six months and did the Atlantic. And I've been there for about two and a half months, joined in St Lucia for two and a half weeks, yeah. and haven't gone home yet. Um, and I think one of the real observations we found about being in a cruising community is that um, how friendly and open and um, willing to get to know people people are. Um, so you rock up in a marina and everybody's got a common thing that they want to talk about, which is about their boat and their sailing and their experience, and people gel and bond really, really quickly. But when you're at home, it doesn't seem to work like that. You've got your cliques, you've got your network, and you don't have to make the effort. And it's wonderful that the cruiser community goes out there, makes the effort, and I have to say we've met some amazing people whilst we've been doing this journey. Nice one. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get emotional. Emotional. Well, yeah, it's been so nice meeting you. So Jill and Tracy are about to set off Panama Canal. Yeah. And then home. <laughs> home sweet home. Home sweet home. There's also a few boats leaving today. Some are, well most of them are heading across the Pacific, but a few are heading up to Seattle, up the coast. So we're just going to go and say farewell to them. There you go. Okay. Well, we're leaving. So I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. attached a photo of you guys on the Why you So thank you guys. You guys were great. Yeah, made awesome. this. Yeah, you guys are awesome as well. We just said bye to Bill and Barb of Flurricane. But we just realized we're going to probably see him in about two weeks' time in St. Cristobal. 
in, uh, in Galapagos. So I've already told them that. I'm going to get them booked in to do a few gigs while we're over there. I've gone out to have a look at some of the wildlife. There's howler monkeys and capuchin monkeys, as well as quite a few birds that apparently live around uh, on the edge of Shelter Bay Marina. This whole area where the marina is located used to be an American army base. I expect it was protecting the canal. Do you want to explain what it is? Yeah. It's going to Palmerston, hopefully. Hopefully with you. Yes. yes. Either with us or we'll find someone going to Palmerston. It's for a little girl and she needs just glasses to see better. And it's about, yeah, education. If you, if you have good sight, and you can learn. Yeah, and education is everything. And Palmerston is quite a bit off the track, yes, but um, it's not really off the track, it's just a small. We'll work it out. This is a German foundation that provides these glasses. So they, they've measured her eyes a little while ago, got the glasses made up, and now we just need somebody to get these to her. I just flew in from Germany to find someone. Yeah. We are your people. Oh, Woo! Yeah, happy. Pretty much packed away. Smelly bag. Some bananas in a box because they have to be separated from the fruit. And they're going to go under the table. Now, our room is a bit of a schmozzle, isn't it? That's the tender. But yeah, all the important stuff is kind of wedged in. Hey, why is this here? Because Dean's that, in your room. That's my. My the box. toy box, yeah. This is the camera stuff. Yeah. There's Pretty the good. Tea. Last few bits of electronics. Feel responding to folks like you on YouTube comments. Because <laughs> we were offline for quite a while. Yeah, that's right. So All right. Yeah, so Dean's staying in Aiden's room. Evan in the guest room. Helen. All right. Time to go. Whereabouts do you live? Sydney. Oh, you live in Sydney. Safe journey, Steve. See you, Jeanette. See you soon. Bye. See you, Jane. Thanks. Bye. See you on the other side. See you, San Cristobal. Yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Oh, San Cristobal. Yeah. Oh, there's one. That's it. Our transit for the Panacanal Canal begins now.
If you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to follow our adventures.